now. Reaching for some medicine or cream in the first aid kit to treat an injury is fairly common for us. But this is not something we expect animals to do. For the first time, scientists in Indonesia have spotted a wild orangutan treating a wound on his cheek by applying a paste from a medicinal plant. Our reporter Georgina Ranard has more. This is Rakus. He's just been injured, probably after fighting with other male orangutans. Now he's preparing to do something we are all familiar with, trying to heal a wound. That's what scientists in Indonesia believe he was doing when they saw him putting medicinal leaves on his injury. He was eating on it for 13 minutes and then repeatedly applied the plant juice from his mouth directly onto the wound. It looked similar to a wound plaster. It healed also quite fast, so within a couple of days it was already fully closed. A month later, the injury was completely gone. Scientists had never before seen a wild animal apparently healing its own wound. It's another sign of how close we are to great apes. We humans, we treat our wounds and but also forms of active wound treatment can be found in the African great apes. It's possible that our last common ancestor already showed similar ointment behavior. And maybe Rakus isn't alone. Now scientists will be watching other orangutans to see if they share his healing powers. Georgina Ranard, BBC News. There is some seriously fascinating science to share with you this morning. Linda Ward has the job of doing that. It's a, a, a discovery from the jungles of Indonesia. Linda, we know how smart mm -hmm. primates are, but this is Dr. Orangutan MD right. here. We didn't know they had medical skills. No, this is amazing. They do, yeah. So uh, this is Rakus. Uh, this is a Sumatran uh, orangutan that a research team were following in the Indonesian rainforest. And uh, they noticed that he had like a wound under his eye. And they think maybe got into a scrap, got into a fight. Yeah, pretty with another deep there. Yeah, yeah, pretty nasty looking mm -hmm, wound. Mm -hmm. uh, three days later, they saw him chewing on some leaves in the, uh, in the rainforest. And it was a type of a climbing vine. Now, he wasn't swallowing them. He was using his fingers to um, take the, the sap and the, the saliva and put it onto the wound and then took the leaves out and put the leaves on the wound itself. Left the leaves on there for a few days. I believe we have a before and after okay. shot we can show you here. If you can see, it does heal over the course of about three or four days. Left it there and... The wound was closed a few weeks later, just a tiny scar there. This plant is what the orangutan was chewing. It's called Fibroria tinctoria. It has anti-inflammatory properties, pain relief, antibacterial, antifungal, antioxidant, anti-carcinogenic huh. properties. Who knew? Uh, they actually use the species of vine to treat things like dysentery, uh, diabetes, malaria as well. So it's a pretty cool vine. And apparently, Ruckus knew that. It recognized the medicinal properties. Yeah. That's fascinating. And they uh, have documented this, as we've said, for the very first time, mm. they think. Yeah. Is this the... I mean, have there been other there types of animals with this type of behavior? Yeah, so this isn't the first time that we've seen animals sort of self-medicating. Right. But this is the first time that they've seen them actually use plants to treat uh, open wounds. Okay. Uh, we have seen in the past, as I mentioned there, uh, wild animals spotting self-medicating, uh, like Bornean orangutans have been seen chewing uh, leaves that people use to treat sore muscles, sort of like the A535. <laughs> Starting platform. Putting it on, yeah. Um, and chimps have been seen chewing uh, plants known to treat worms in the past. Uh, they've also been seen taking insects and putting them on the wounds, but they don't know if that actually affected the wound itself, if it actually did anything to help. They don't know where Rockus learned this. They don't know if he saw it in other animals, but uh, it appeared that it was intentional, that he was actually putting this on uh, to try and, you know, help the situation. And 
you know, this, they think, might tell us a little bit about how humans thousands of years ago figured out that plants have, you know, medicinal properties. So I did a little bit of research okay. because you know people are going to want to know. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Where do I get this? Yeah. Can you get it? Well, you can get it. You can get it in a powder form okay. on some marginally reputable website. Ah, okay. <laughs> 250 bucks oh, really? for a kilo of this, uh, the powdered leaf form. I'm not sure that you're going to be running out to go get yeah. this just smeared on our paper cuts, but maybe. I'm not sure. It's raucous approved. Raucous anyway. approved. <laughs> Linda, that is, uh, I love that story today. Thank you uh, for bringing it, Linda Ward.